why are some students branded intelligent while others are not do traditional classrooms truly cater to all learners is intelligence innate or can we shape it who decides what genius looks like can technology bridge this gap let's dive into the video let's revolutionize friends good day to everyone first of all to know what kind of content this channel is intended to produce my credibility and other details watch the introductory video of this channel in the current schooling system globally for decades schools have operated much like a factory line every student follows the same process learns the same way and is measured by the same standards we spend years memorizing facts taking standardized tests and ticking boxes on the report cards we don't appreciate the fact that every student has unique way of learning thinking and growing not every student learns at same speed some catch on quickly while others need a little extra time to connect the dots but what do we do instead of celebrating these differences our system often slaps them with labels calling one student smart and another slow and unfortunately those labels stick forever affecting not just their school grades but their entire future when a student is branded as slow at a very young age they may stop trying avoid challenges and end up personally for less than they are capable of and it does not stop there in some cases it is not just the system labeling students you know some graduates not everyone some graduates from prestigious institutions sometimes begin to see themselves as inherently special they forget that given the right opportunity quality education anyone can achieve greatness it's not that we are questioning their hard work of course they earn their success through dedication and effort no doubt but we do question the assumption of a special status without humility which only reinforces a narrow limiting view of potential the truth is learning slowly doesn't mean that someone is not capable you think about einstein or edison they were once seen as a slow learners yet they ended up changing the world with their ideas so where is the real problem the real problem is it is our one model fits all student approach every student learns differently they have their unique pattern in their brain unique way of processing information we need to adapt our teaching method to suit that and let's be honest we are not blaming teachers here for this they are already handling large classrooms which makes it nearly impossible to give one to one attention to every student but we need to recognize the fact that the system needs an update let's find out how technology can help us fix this before we dive into the tech solution let's take a moment to think about evolution and how it works and why learning is an evolutionary process in nature every learning builds on something that came before it is like connecting two old notes to form a new note imagine if every time you learn something new you have to start from scratch then where is the progress there will be no progress no evolution take an example of a chimpanzee chimpanzee clearly uses a stone as a tool to crack open a fruit and access the nut inside let's imagine how chimpanzee get to this point if we go back in time rewinding few hundred years back the chimpanzee had already learned two key lessons first it learned 
that the stones are heavy and can break things. Second, it learned that there is something edible hidden inside the fruit. Now in the process of evolution, chimpanzee corrected these two learnings and discovered something new that is using a stone as a tool to break open the fruit. Even think about our journey as humans. It started by mastering fire, a breakthrough that eventually paved the way for innovations like the steam engine. Without fire, there is no steam engine. Then came the invention of the wheel, which revolutionized transportation. The printing press transformed communication on a massive scale and the internet set the stage for the current revolution A. Today, A is propelling us towards a future for robotics. Each breakthrough built on what came before, like adding new flows to a building. You can't build a skyscraper without a solid foundation. And our past achievements are the base that supports our future innovations. Even when it comes to training AA model, the process is quite similar. Consider a deep learning model. It starts with an input layer, moves through several hidden layers and ends with an output layer. Each hidden layer builds on the knowledge from the previous layers, gradually refining the information until the model can make an accurate prediction. Without these layers learning step by step, the final output would simply not be possible. Another key concept in AI training is the use of pre-trained models. These developers, instead of training model from the scratch, they often use an existing open source model that has already learned a lot from vast amount of data. They then fine tune this model, keeping most of the layers intact, most of the learnings intact, adjusting only the last few layers to fit a specific task. This way, the model leverages its previous learnings to produce new customized results. Now recently, I came across a fascinating article, fascinating study in neuroscience that explains how our brain manages information. The research shows that while our brain has an enormous capacity of memory this much, but it actively uses only a small portion of it this much, which we call it as working memory. Why is that? Essentially, the brain avoids scattering the information randomly throughout the memory because it creates confusion. When a new information arrives, it instinctively groups it with a related knowledge it already has. This process often referred to as chunking and it prevents overload and makes learning more efficient. So, what all the above example shows? It shows that new learning happens effectively by leveraging the old learnings. Now, let's apply this idea to students. Every student has their unique interest and prior knowledge. Some are into football, others love fishing, gardening or even gaming. Suppose if someone loves football or cricket, you ask them any question about the game, they will give you a clear, detailed explanation because of their deep interest in that topic. How? Because when you are passionate about something, your brain forms clear, efficient patterns around the topic. Why not use what they already know to help them learn new subjects faster and more effectively? What if we could use a large language model like ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Gemini, to tap into these existing patterns and tailor learning just for them. Let's see the solution. Imagine a teacher explaining a topic using the blackboard while a camera captures what's written on the board and feeds it into an AI system. Along with these, the AI also has access to each student's individual interest. Every student has a display device kind of thing. If a student does not fully understand the explanation, they can simply press a button to send a request to the AI system. Since the system already knows what was just explained from the board, as well as the student's specific interest, it generates a personalized explanation using relevant examples tailored to them and sends it to student's display device. For example, the lesson is about gravity and the student is passionate about football. What if the AI explains gravity using football as a reference? It might show 
how gravity influences the curve of a ball, how players adjust their kicks. This personalized explanation then appears on the student's display device, making the concept clear and engaging. So far, we have discussed text-based AI models that generate personalized explanation for students. The possibilities does not stop there. There have been major breakthroughs in video generation AI model as well. Imagine in future, a student could receive an animated video tailored to their interest. For example, an explanation of gravity through football animation video. How fascinating would that be? This kind of approach ensures that every student learns in a way that resonates with them, aligns with the thought patterns already formed in their brain, making education more engaging, joyful, curious, and effective. As a proof of concept, we can either present the functionalities of the key modules from our site, as in today's episode, or we may highlight some of the leading technologies available in the market and connect the dots. The purpose of this is to show that the idea is indeed achievable. Otherwise, what is the point in proposing it in the first place? Let's check it out. Friends, the solution proposed here and the functionality demonstrated is just a concept vision. It may not be perfect, it may have its own flaws, but I want the content to serve a bigger purpose, to spark awareness, ignite global conversation and to trigger even better ideas. Every student is special. Let them all become scientists, creators and innovators. Thank you.